One more astronaut. Hey Mason, if an amp effects loop has a send and a return level pots, are buffers on the pedal board necessary for what's going in the loop? So it depends on whether you think that the loop is neutral. Like sometimes people will just take a cable with no pedals in the loop and just plug the send and then put it into the return and see what the effect is of the effects loop. Some of them have a real color to them and if it's a tube buffered effects loop, it's not going to be neutral. It could sound great, but it's not going to sound the same as just your guitar plugged into your amp. So it's just something to know ahead of time when you're talking about effects loops. Um, now, if, if it, you think it sounds good and you're happy with the results that you're getting, in particular with your delay and reverb type effects, which is typically what you put in your effects loop, then I don't think you have any reason to mess with it. If you are going to buffer it, you would only need the buffer on the return. So that's like last pedal, we go to the buffer, and then go back to the return. And that would be the only um, condition where you would want to uh, put a buffer in there. So just, just be forewarned.